Hey guys, welcome to my channel and thank you so much for stopping by. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you some crappy products. They just did not work out from me. I tried so hard, but they are so stubborn. They just, just decided not to work on me. And there are some hyped products. People literally rave about them, but I just do not like them. They just did not perform well on me. So yeah, I have like a bean over here bad bean full of those crappy products that i'm gonna share with you before starting i really want to make a disclaimer and i think we should not start this kind of video without making a disclaimer and it's actually true so these products they just did not work out for me it does not mean that they they will not work out for you our skin is different, our hair is different, we are different people, so if you like any of them, you do not have to listen to me. Just go ahead and use them. I just personally do not like them at all, so I'm just doing this video. So without further ado, let's get started. But before starting, please take a moment to subscribe to my channel. For that, press that red subscribe button and also press the bell icon next to it so that you get notification whenever I upload. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. And one more thing, I have nothing against all these brands. I love all of them and I use so many of them products in my videos. I love, love, love them. But only these products did not work out for me. So please keep that thing in mind. First, I have here one skincare product that just did not work out for me. And this is this L'Oreal Hydra Fresh Toner. And you can totally see it is almost full. I haven't even used it. Now the reason why I do not like this product is it literally burns my eyes and I do not have sensitive eyes. Now if you are following me for a while you must know that I like to uh, apply my toners with my spray bottle and whenever I used to spray it all over on my face my eyes used to burn. I mean it was crazy I do not have sensitive eyes but my eyes used to burn like hell. My eyes to be like watery, red and as if i have applied some kind of chili pepper or chili powder on my eyes it was so bad and i tried so many methods of applying this toner i tried using my cotton pad and whenever i used to apply this toner if i go somewhere near my eyes my eyes used to burn like it was crazy it was crazy i just could not bear it so i just stopped using it and it did not really do much for my pores or something. I did not really feel any kind of tightening effect or brightness or something like that. So I just completely stopped using it and yeah, it is like a complete disaster for me. If you guys have tried this toner, then please let me know your thoughts about this toner because I have read so many good reviews on Amazon, on Walmart's website, but I don't know what happened with me it just did not work out for me at all so yeah please let me know your thoughts about this donor now I have here one face brush from wet and wild this is their large stippling brush I have the small one and I love it so so much I decided to get the bigger one and I do not like it at all now the reason why I do not like it it shades like crazily and it's been shading from day one whenever I try to use it on my face I could see bristles sticking to my face and every time every time I use it it shades like crazily I don't know if you can see it or not but it's still shading I mean look at this look at this so this is the case with this brush I don't know if I have got a bad badge or something but I have a feeling that in like two months I will have only the handles all the bristles will like fall off so it's a pass for me moving on next up that I have here a crazy product this is the Rimmel London Kate Moss lipstick in the shade which shade it is 104 I mean look at the packaging isn't it so cute and I got this particular lipstick only because of its packaging Look at this, it's so cute, isn't it? Even the shade is really, really pretty. It is a very nice mauve pink color and a perfect nude shade for my skin tone. I love the shade. 
Now the reason why I do not like it, first of all, who the hell says that it's matte? It's not matte at all. Can you see? Can you see the glossy finish? First I thought that maybe it would be matte, but it's not matte at all. Now let's try to blot it with a paper towel. And let's see what happens. And I'm literally blotting it. And can you see? It's still glossy. And the main problem with this lipstick is it settles on the lines on my lips and it looks horrible. It transfers a lot. It feathers all around. It does not stay on my lips for a longer period of time. I just do not like the formula. It does emphasize texture on my lips and my lip just look so horrible whenever I try to apply these lipsticks so this is probably the reason why you haven't like seen me using this in my videos I do not like this product at all so yeah it is a pass for me next I have here a hair care product and I have seen so many good reviews about this product so I decided to get it and I'm talking about this Garnier full blend repairing mask and you guys probably know that I have chemically treated hair and I use like hot tools almost every day on my hair. So I need something nourishing for my hair. And I ran out of my OGX hair mask so I decided to get this one and you guys can see it's all full. I haven't even used it. When I first time tried it on my hair, my hair became so dry, so dehydrated, fizzy rough and every bad thing I, I cannot even imagine that situation so I tried it second time just to make sure that it is this hair mask that was doing those crappy thing to my hair and the second time result was the same my hair was so so dry frizzy dehydrated rough so I just completely stopped using it the way I use it now uh, I just use it to condition my makeup brushes after washing them that's it that's what I do I do not dare to use it on my hair so it is a pass for me do you like this eye makeup this green with envy kind of eye makeup if it is up i will link that over there you can click over there to reach that video and if it is not up yet then this is coming up next so please stay tuned this video is incomplete without giving an honorable mention to these two people right here this rimmel london stay matte full coverage mattifying foundation and the concealer i have a full in-depth dedicated video on these two you can uh, click the link over there to reach that video talking about the foundation first of all it does oxidize secondly it emphasizes every little texture on my face third it does not blend fourth it is not even full coverage Fifth, it is so dry as if I have applied a mud mask on my face. I mean, if you watch that video, you can see everything was happening in front of camera. I tried so hard to blend this foundation, it was not blending. I tried my sponge, I tried my brush, I tried my finger, I tried a dry sponge, everything possible on earth. But it just did not blend. So yeah, it is a pass for me. Talking about the concealer. The consistency is so watery and so thin. Though it is a full coverage concealer, it did not give me any coverage. When I tried to layer it up, it became a medium coverage concealer, but it was not at all a full coverage concealer. If you do not have those tremendous dark circles like I do, then probably you will enjoy this foundation, but I have dark circles to cover and it just did not do anything for me. So yeah, it is a pass for me. And also I was trying out this concealer off camera the other day and after like two to three hours my under eyes became so cakey. I do not like this concealer at all. The next product is this Wet n Wild H2O Waterproof Eyeliner. So this is the H2O one. I love their mega liner in black. I use that one in my videos all time. Now first of all the applicator. It is so pokey like toothpick. I cannot even use it. Whenever I try to use it, I cannot even get a sharp wing with this applicator. I don't know how to use it. It is so pokey. I do not like it at all. Now talking about the formula. 
it does not dry out on my eyelid i mean i tried using it and after like 10 minutes i could still feel the tackiness on my eyelid i waited i waited 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 and after like one hour it was still tacky after four to five hours it was still tacky and whenever i opened my eyes like this it just left a half moon kind of a thing over there as if i've applied a black eyelash glue it is horrible if you haven't watched my eyebrow tutorial you can go ahead and watch it and i think i was wearing this eyeliner in that video and you could totally see those half moon circle on my eyelids it was just a nasty thing so yeah it is just past for me i just i just do not like it at all next i have here another eyeliner now you have probably seen me using this eyeliner quite a few times in my video but i do not like this eyeliner a lot i used it just because i did not have any option i'm talking about this l'oreal eyeliner first of all the wand it is so long as you guys can see and whenever i try to hold it like this and i try to do my wing eyeliner i feel like i do not have enough control on this wand or on this applicator and i can totally remember there were like two times when i caught a sharp wing out of it and most of the time i get a mess literally a mess instead of a nice winged eyeliner i prefer a shorter applicator a short this one kind of a thing but i do not prefer this kind of long applicator so i just do not like it talking about the formula first of all it is not long lasting at all and the other day when i was uh using this eyeliner and i used my lashes afterwards my one of my lashes it was coming off and i had to take it off and when i just took off the lashes the eyeliner literally came off i mean there was a gap there was no eyeliner whatsoever and it it just does not happen with any of my eyeliners so it is kind of disappointing so yeah it is a pass for me probably i will use it for my videos with another eyeliner brush or eyeliner applicator but with this applicator no no no, no, no. i'm not gonna use it no no no, no. Next, I have here a very, very hyped product. And especially if you are from India, you must have heard about these products. And I'm talking about this Nykaa uh, Matte Nail Lacquer. And this is in the shade Pink Ruffle. Now, when I ordered it online, the color was completely different. I mean, on their app, on, on their website, the color was completely different. It was a very nice peachy pink kind of color. It it resembles like this kind of a color but when i received it it was like a straight whitish kind of a color with a very light hint of pink in it i do not like the color at all secondly it does not apply smoothly i mean whenever i try to apply it on my nails it starts to separate you know those separating kind of a thing so what i do i layer it up and if i layer it up it just chips very quickly i have another shade uh it is in the shade nutcracker dreams however that chipping thing or uneven application it does not happen with this product but i do not know what is wrong with this pink ruffle i just do not like the formula of this one i just do not like how it applies how it stays i do not like the color if you like the color it's okay because I do not like the color just because I was expecting something else and I got something else. So that is the issue. I just do not like it at all. Next, I have here one blush from e.l.f. Cosmetics. And this is it. This is in the shade Blushing. Now, you have probably seen me using this blush in a couple of my videos. First of all, it is so powdery, so so chalky and it does not have any pigment in it see it is like a compact powder it does not have any pigment and whenever I used to use it on my videos I used to layer it up with another blush I mean look at this do you see anything 
it's like a white compact powder at the beginning when i started using this blush i thought uh, maybe i i am tanned that's why it's not working on me but i am not that tanned yet i start trying to use this blush it just does not work out for me it does not have any pigment it is chalky it is powdery in one word pass i hate doing this kind of videos i sound so mean so toxic so negative trust me i'm not that negative if you haven't watched my monthly favorite videos yet please go ahead and watch those videos i talk so many good things about so many good products i recently did one it was my april favorite video click on the link over there to watch that video next i have here this maybelline master strobing cream I know people rave about this product a lot but I do not know I just do not like this product I tried using it underneath my foundation and my foundation started to become crumbly it was not blending properly I tried to use it uh, on top of my foundation as my cream highlighter and my foundation was just coming off separating I just do not like this product also i tried to mixing it with my foundation and same thing happened my foundation was not blending properly now i got it from nyka.com about a year ago and when i was like so many people love this product why i do not like it why just it's not working for me so i went to walmart and i was checking out the maybelline counter and i spotted this product and I was surprised to see the packaging, the writing on the back, everything was so different from this one. I do not know if I got a duplicate product or a fake product or not, but it was completely different. I'm going to attach a picture which I recently took of this product and I spotted it at Walgreens. You can totally see the difference. It is completely different. The packaging and everything is completely different. So maybe it's a fake product. I mean, can you see it says it's made in China and look at the writing or the letters over there. It's written all in China, Chinese hall of or maybe something of uh, foreign language. I do not know what language it is. Can you see that? Uh, yeah, probably can see it right now. So I think I got a fake product, but it's so surprising because I got it from Nika. Also it came with a packaging like their gel uh, eyeliners or their mascaras but when I spotted it at Walmart and at Walgreens it just does not come with any kind of packaging but I received it in a plastic kind of a packaging so which is weird I do not know I really really don't know if you have bought this product from India and if you have this with me then please let me know if this uh, resembles your product or not the packaging I mean the writing over here made in China and some unknown foreign language please let me know I need to know if I got a wrong product or a fake product or not next I have here this uh, wet and wild mega last retractable eyeliner now I do not like hate this product but I do not love it either the reason why I do not like it is the pigmentation it's not rigidly pigmented i mean though it looks kind of pigmented and it swatches quite nicely but on my waterline it looks like a grayish kind of a color and it does not stay on my waterline for a long period of time so i don't know i have like a hate and love kind of relationship with this one the other day when I was trying out this product, first of all it was not showing up on my waterline and I was trying to layer it up over and over again and then it did show up a bit, not like too too much and after like one or two hours it was completely gone. My waterline was completely bare and if I'm wearing a black kajal kohol or eyeliner on my waterline, I want them to look like black. I do not want them to look like grayish in color or something like that. So yeah, that is the case with this eyeliner and you can make your decision over this. I just do not really like it much. Next product is again a very hyped product and people rave about it but I do not like it. And I'm talking about this Wet n Wild Kalaikan 
uh, gloss in the shade Taurus. Look at this. The color is so, so pretty. The reason why I do not like it, it has very chunky glitters. I mean, when I place my lip together like this, I was like, Ugh. I could feel the glitters between my lips and those glitters they just settle on the lines and after like one or two hours I could see glitters all around my mouth I just do not like that kind of a feel I wish I wish it was without those glitters I wish that I don't know if the camera is picking it up or not but you can totally see the chunky glitters over there oh I just do not like it I personally prefer lip glosses without any glitters or shimmer particles in them. So it is just my personal opinion. If you like those kind of chunky glitters in a lip gloss, then go ahead and use it. But I do not like it at all. I mean, see, I have removed it quite well. And still you can see the glitter particles shining over here. I mean, let me show you. So yeah, I'm just removing it. And you can still see those glitter particles. I do not know if the camera is picking it up or not. But my hand is full of glitters and shimmers, whatever. I just do not like it. Next, I have here a mascara. And I am so afraid to share with you. Because people just rave about this mascara. But it just did not work out for me. Please do not kill me. I am talking about this L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. I just do not like it at all. Ouch. Did I even say that? First of all, I do not like the wand of this uh, mascara. It is so thick. I just do not like it. Secondly, when I started using it at the beginning, say about one week, it was working just fine. Not great, but just fine. But after that, it started to become crumbly. And my lashes, it was looking spidery and crumbly and it was so thick. I just do not like the formula of it at all. It just did not work out for me. Secondly, removing it is like a pain in my ass. And I'm, I'm not even joking. I tried coconut oil, olive oil, grapeseed oil. I tried my simple micellar water. I tried my physician's formula balm. It is so hard to remove. Every time I tried to remove it from my lashes, I ended up losing my own natural lashes. It was so frustrating. I tried my physician's formula balm. That stuff is so good. And even after using that balm, I could see traces of mascara all over on my lashes. I was not even able to remove it completely from my lashes. So yeah, I just do not like it. And it was for $10. I love my Essence mascaras. I love my uh, Maybelline Volume Express mascara, my Lash Sensational mascara from Maybelline. They are so, so good. And they are cheaper than this one. So I prefer to use my Essence mascaras, my Maybelline mascaras, or maybe my Milani mascara, but not this one. This is a pass for me. Secondly, I have here again a mascara and this is the Wet n Wild Mega Length Mascara. Now, you have probably seen me using this mascara so many times. The reason why I do not like it, first of all, the wand is so pokey. First, when I started using this mascara, I accidentally poked my eyes so many times and my eyes literally became watery. So, you have to be really careful while using this mascara. Secondly, it does nothing for my lashes. It just gives my lashes a hint of color. That's it. It does not give me any volume, any length. Though it is a mega length mascara, but it does not give me any length. And I use it only when I know that I'm going to use false eyelashes. That's it. If I want to use it all on its own, I do not like it. It just does nothing for my lashes. And the other day when I used this mascara and after like two minutes I set my makeup with a makeup setting spray and the mascara was literally melting and I ended up having panda eyes. 
I could see mascara all over on my under eye area and my makeup literally got ruined. I had to reapply my concealer, my foundation all over again. So yeah, I just do not like the formula of this mascara. Yeah, I just use it in my tutorials because I know I'm going to use falsies afterwards. That's it. That's all. I'm not going to repurchase it as soon as I'm finished with it. I'm not going to repurchase it. It's, it's a pass for me. So yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, if you like any of these products, then please go ahead and use it. They just did not work out for me. So yeah, if you are not following me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter, please do follow me there. I upload Insta stories, Insta posts almost every alternative day. So please go ahead and follow me. All the links will be given in the description bar below. So please go ahead and check that out. So see you soon in my next one. Till then, bye and take care.